Collectors, welcome to Collection TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rusty's Lightning McQueen, Darren Leadfoot, Ernie Gearson, Phil Tankson, Terry Cargas, Maddie McGear, Chris Revstopsky, Rusty's Cruz Ramirez, Chase Racelet, Ryan Inside Laney, Bubba Wheelhouse, H.J. Holis, Ed Trunkin, Smokey, Roscoe, Taco, Broadside, Patty, and Pileup. All of these die casts are from Disney Pixar Cars 3, Mattel Case H, or Case L.
And you might recall me reviewing Smokey a few months ago, and I decided to review him again because he's actually gotten quite a major variant. If you look at the picture, I labeled which one is which, and on the left you can see the old original May 1st release, and in the middle is the new one which I'm reviewing today, and then on the right is the Heyday Smokey, which also shares the new model. All of these characters and cars appeared in Cars 3, and I'll show several screenshots of where each of them appeared. There was McQueen, and Darren Leadfoot, you can see right there at the Copper Canyon Speedway, and Ernie Gerson at the Motor Speedway of the South. You can also see Phil Tankston also at the Copper Canyon race, and here is some concept art. There is Terry Cargas at the Copper Canyon race. And there's concept art. And Maddie McGear looks very happy at the Florida 500. Same goes for Chris Rostopsky. And Cruz Ramirez is definitely happy to have a victory at the Florida 500, her very first race. You can definitely tell that uh, Chase Racelet and Ryan Inside Laney and Bubba Wheelhouse we're kind of mean toward the beginning of the film, but I think toward the end we realize that they can make quite good friends with Cruz. Ace J. Hollis and Ed Trunkin both appear several times throughout the film in different speedways, but they, neither one of them actually speak. There's also some good concept art of Ed Trunkin. And Smokey, most of you guys probably know if you've seen Cars 3, he's basically Doc Hudson's old trainer, and he helps McQueen and Cruz. And Roscoe is definitely one of the uh, minor antagonists in the film, and so do all the other Demotion Derby contestants, such as Taco, Broadside, Patty, and even Pileup, which we'll see in a minute. This Lightning McQueen is the first Lightning McQueen we are introduced to in Cars 3 and his, his main paint job until his rep. All of the cars shown in this video are made in the 155 scale as die casts by Mattel and have no paper stickers. Darren Leadfoot, who you might recall as a Pacific Cup racer from Cars 1, is still racing and is sponsored by Team Shiny Wax and is number 82 just like before, but with a new improvements. Ernie Gerson is another one of the returning Piston Cup racers from Cars 1 and he's sponsored by Team Spearmint and is number 93. Well, Aiken Axler decided to retire sometime between Cars 1 and 3, and now it is time for Phil Tankson to take the lead as the Nitro 8 sponsored race car, being number 28, just like Aiken was.
Some of the stock cars in Cars 3 are actually new models, replacing some of the lesser known sponsors from the first Cars film. And this is one of them, which is Terry Cargas number 31, racing for triple dent gum, which is an Easter egg to Inside Out. Maddie McGear has been following Lightning McQueen since his first race. She may be little, but she has a big heart. She cheers on McQueen with all her might, that is, until she meets Cruz Ramirez. Now Maddie is a fan of both and admires McQueen and Ramirez equally for their courage, heart, and character. Being a Piston Cup flag car like Chris Revstotsky is hard work. Many fans of racing don't realize the rigorous training and testing a vehicle needs to go through in order to prove they are worthy of holding that checkered flag. When a race begins or ends, it's all eyes on Chris Revstotsky. Cruz becomes the new racer for the Rusty's company after Lightning McQueen decides to give his last chance to give Cruz her first chance. Second generation Piston Cup racer Chase Racelet knows what it takes to win and was racing long before he ever set tire on a professional speedway. Like his fellow rookies, Chase knows how to push toward the front by combining his skills, track smarts, and top of the line technology. Ryan Inside Laney is a third generation Piston Cup racer who is beloved by fans for being passionate, fun, and exciting on the track. He represents the next wave of young athletes who focus on talent, speed, and precision. Bubba Wheelhouse is a next generation stock car racer who has been racing nearly all his life and has been one of the youngest victors on the speedway. He runs a fast and furious lifestyle but has his eyes on the prize. He is a champion for diversity believing that all race cars deserve a lane on the track. H.J. Holas is the next generation N2O Cola racer and is number 68 just like Manny Flywheel and Parker Brakeston were. Ed Trunken is another next generation rookie who is sponsored by Team Mood Springs and is number 33, again like Dud Throttleman and Chuck Armstrong were. Smokey was formerly the fabulous Hudson Hornets crew chief back in the 1950s before a career ending crash ended Doc Hudson's career. Ever since then, Smokey has kind of grown older and as you can see he has gotten a lot more rusty than he used to be in his heyday form. Roscoe is the gatekeeper at Thunder Hollow Speedway. He's amused when he meets rookies who think they're brave enough to run on Crazy 8 Night and has fun watching them try to survive on the track. Despite that, Roscoe's a stickler for the rules. No escaping the track once the race starts, last car driving wins, and no cursing on family night. But swerving is encouraged. The question that Taco gets asked the most from fans is, how did you get your name? Taco was sandwiched between two other cars and a wreck, and when he came to, his new shape resembled that of a taco. His wife added some realistic paint and the star was born. The last three cars we're going to be looking at today are three uh, more Demolition Derby contestants. They are Broadside, Patty, and Pileup. 
Sadly, none of them have any description in the Meet the Cars book, so I can't really tell you much about their characters, but I definitely think that their dents, dings, and problems definitely create a very good uh, bio themselves. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Disney Pixar Cars content. Don't forget to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts at Collection TV. I'm Henry Motorcoop and we'll see you guys next time.